I'm Ian Rush and you're watching the Red Men TV. Um, if you join us on YouTube for this, welcome, hello, welcome to the award winning Red Men TV. <laughs> what was that? What was that? The award winning Red Men? The award winning Red Men. You know what? Because we're, we're on YouTube and there's more of you who voted. I'll show you. Chrissy, if you can uh, get your murdering gloves around the camera <laughs> and get this one in shot for us. Surely Chris needs to be in camera for this because he should be part of this. Yeah. Never mind. Look Never mind. <laughs> I'll take your place, Chris. Fuck Dolly. Look at Chris. Not you, not <laughs> like <laughs> 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 Oh Outstanding. Outstanding. Be careless, West Brom. Brilliant, Chris. Congratulations, mate. Good job, well done. Oh, yeah. Come on, we've got two. Thank you very much to the uh, the people at the Football Blogging Awards. Guess it didn't hold it up, well. I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> feel a bit... Feel like I'm, I'm, I'm milking that a little bit too much. No, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, thanks to everyone who... Uh, step back up there thanks to everyone who voted for us. Um, Put your cup of coffee on that in a few years. I know, yeah. Um, couldn't have... Uh, literally couldn't have done it without you just because it was all it was all fan voting. We managed to beat Man United and Arsenal in, uh, in Arsenal fan TV who were dead nice, actually. Uh, and uh, full-time devils who are not. Manx. I mean, they're not all right. Um, Relatively speaking, of course, and and we beat and we beat KSI, and people said it couldn't be done. So basically, the real reason for this is KSI couldn't be asked to uh, to draw up any of his thirty million followers to win. Anyway, so <laughs> welcome to the intensive match build up. The uh, the Redmond TV FBA Award Wankfest is now over. We're going to move on to the match. We're playing Hull. Mike, um, it's Steve Bruce. He's got a big fat head. Yeah, he's got a big fat head. <laughs> he's also he also has it. A worrying tendency to do surprisingly well against us over the over the years. Is that when his head leaves his shoulders and lands in our penalty area and the ball deflects <laughs> off it into the goal? <laughs> his beach ball head, yeah, indeed. Um, <laughs> I hate Steve Bruce. I know. I, I literally. I, I, you know what? I, I've got irrational hate to form. I don't. I, he's not, you, you know what? You watch one time. He comes across like a nice fellow, and that. He's probably, <laughs> but he's a good dad. Just kind you know of, what I mean? Honestly, like good dad and neighbour, but no, yeah. yeah. Cuss, like cuss the neighbour's grass. He reminds me of. I hate him. You know the new, <laughs> I hate him. You know the news. On Family Guy, whose son's got an upside down head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Uh, do you think is it just is it just a man connection, Dad, or is, is there something more more to it than that? Oh, it's, it's largely a man connection, isn't it? But also the fact that he used to send teams to Anfield who defend for eighty minutes and then try and beat us in the last day. Rafa you know, couldn't wear Rafa no, couldn't wear him out. Rafa yeah. never. I think Rafa turned up at English football and watched Steve Bruce teams. And I was thinking. What the fuck is this? Nah. I, I don't know. This is this is crazy. What's this? <laughs> Rafa just stood there on the touchline going. This is fucked down on their shoulders. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like the, imagine like the Shackley Colossus quote, like come in, come in and walk around them. He just, he, <laughs> Rafa just couldn't get his head around them. And then it's all over. Look at the size of that boy's head. <laughs> and then we didn't we beat them seven. I think we beat a Birmingham team of his like seven or something. And then it, and then the it, and then it kind of <laughs> got steady. But for ages, Rafa just couldn't work out Steve Bruce how to play against these part of us teams. That doesn't worry me so much with, with under Rodgers. I think you, I think if you come down for the part of us, you're waiting for it. I don't think the whole f- crowd will like uh, their team sitting back at home anyway. I think they'll probably have a go at us. So mm. that's all to the good, isn't it? I think yeah. you should come dressed as tigers just to piss them off. Girl. Yeah, in fact, that's a point. Yeah, the whole the whole city tigers, tigers, <laughs> tigers. Um, yeah, what happened great. to that? No, I'd forgotten all about that. I was doing my research. I was like, oh fuck, I yeah, they made a load to think about that over the summer, didn't they? And it's not been mentioned on any show. Since so there you go. <laughs> if you're if you're on the whole board, apparently he's trying to get it changed officially to whole tigers and then get rid of the city. Yeah, bad. Yeah, genuine bad. Um, okay, yes, yeah, so franchise. Be, so there'll be tigers of culture rather than city of culture. <laughs> yeah. <then>. yeah. <laughs> how, how did they? How did, have you seen? It's not your. It's not European yeah. capital culture. It's just city of culture. I think it's whole. It was the York, the Yorkshire <laughs> capital of <laughs> culture. Are you just better than all? <laughs> Hull, honestly, Hull. Is, <laughs> no offence to anyone who's in Hull, by the way, but yeah, yeah you, it's the, fit, the, <laughs> the, fly, the fly and the flag as far as Yorkshire goes, like you mean Yorkshire is the really worst football in the county, like you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what I hate about Hull? It's miles away, and you don't even you can't even stop off a Hull because it's just it's, 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 it's that far away. It's just the end of the way. <laughs> it doesn't end in Hull. It's the other end. Of, it's, it, it's just the other end of the sixty-two, isn't it? It's a stop at the end. St Peter's Island. I think that's like mm-hmm. you know, build the city. At the end. Apologies if you're watching this from Hull. I'm sure your city's lovely. You know. It's not. It's, <laughs> um, it's a Sunday five. It's a five past two kick off on Sky, um, which is thrilling. Which I presume means it's in the middle of like a. I think it's a chill weather, yeah. Super, super, super. I don't Sunday. know that for a fact. It got, sounds like it. I think they might have Spurs United afterwards. I think. Yeah. Spurs flying high. Um, <laughs> great. Um, 
It's off, Mike. It's our first back-to-back away games of the season. This is like a, mm. a sort of a mini, a little mini test for us, so to speak. You know, of, of can we? Although you know, by all accounts, the team we should be beating. They're not actually a bad side when it comes to them. No, they did lose at home to Palace yeah. last weekend. Didn't they? they did, but they've only lost one at home this season, which is, I was interested to read. So, is it the KC Stadium still? Whatever it is, yeah. is yeah. Um, not not that easy a place to go. All told, no, I can't remember when was the last time we were there. Was Rafa still in charge? Yeah, no, yeah. two years ago. Where did they go down? 2011? Yeah. I had a certain no, like level of research done to this, Mike. You've I've just, done you've no just trumped, research. You've trumped me research. I actually did, I did some, and you. I went. I went to Holloway. I'm at the long score. Chris, Chris knows. No idea. No. Idea. no. <laughs> Chris is enjoying being behind camera. Big I, time. I went. Some, I went. I was at Holloway when Alonso scored. That's he, what I'm thinking. He hit a free kick at them yeah. at the wall and bounced back and he passed it in. I remember that. Yeah. I don't know if you've been there. Did Maxi Rodriguez score the other goal? Yeah, but I can't remember if you've been there since. Yeah. In fact, actually, I've got a trivia question. What was that the next season? Go on. Do you want to know what it is? Please. <laughs> um, the last time Liverpool won at the KC Stadium was in April 2009. Now, here's the question. Mascherano was subbed in the 85th minute, but for whom? The last time Liverpool won at the KC Stadium was in April 2009. Mascherano was subbed in the 85th minute, but for whom? We're going to answer the trivia question right at the end of the show after the RMTV music bit, which this week comes from a, a whole band. We've come all the way up here, Vinny and the Stars, which is going to be fantastic. Oh, we'll shit. That out in a I was just like, I'm going to beat you up. <laughs> yeah, come in. <laughs> and here he is. <laughs> <laughs> He's a big fella. We've got one leg. And that one crunch. I'm going to put his guitar over your head, mate. <laughs> Jeff Jarrett. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, I, um, I mean, Dad, I've not, I've literally, I can't tell, I've not seen, I've not seen anything. I've done some ad hoc research if you don't want me to. Well, how ad hoc? I've just done it now. All right, so we'll come to you in a second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've not watched much of the whole season. I mean, I know, I, just looking at the, the, the results, they had a good start they season, August and September. They don't September. score many goals. They don't score many goals. In fact, right, they don't they've lose scored... many games at, ho- at home, but they lose almost everything away. Yeah, they've scored just nine goals in the league this season, which makes them the joint second lowest scorers. I think they've only scored at four at home, haven't they? Tottenham and who's the other side? The other side? Who can't score? Palace? Oh no! Mm. Norwich, West Ham, West Ham. I think we did. That's what I was saying. That's what happens that when you play four six nine. <laughs> 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 it tends to be a Sam Maladicio <laughs> playing as a as top quality international <laughs> brand football. Um, now, yeah, they've got they only scored nine goals along with 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 I'd say West Ham and. And um, Spurs, amazing Spurs title contenders, talking about Spurs. Interestingly, the only team that scored less goals is Sunderland, who scored eight, who are fairly rooted to the bottom of the table and understandably so. Um, no, on their form, like the, I mean, they started the season very well, as I'm sure you'll know, whole Tigers fans. Um, in August and September, but they've been shit since since October, pretty they much. They started great. They what? They started great. You said they started well. They started great. They started great. Clive yeah. reference. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Clive. Chris got it. Thanks, mate. I got it. I, I, Thanks, I, I made it before, but no one laughed, so I'll shut up. <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah, I said it before. Like. Eyebrow shit. Yeah. <laughs> serial jokes? Yeah, serial. You can't be you can't beat a good serial joke. You can also tell that we don't really know Griffin about the whole civil fill time. <laughs> anyway, we can. Um this is normally where Chris would say something controversial and we'd have a good laugh at it. You can still do it. Chris, how you doing? I've got a whole player in my fantasy team. Who is it? Who he is. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't is trust it <laughs> Yeah. It's, it's, it's got order by price. Cheapest player available. Is he likely to get a game occasionally? More so than him. Yeah, great. He'll do. He'll do nicely. Um, I had a quick look at Danger Men. Um, Robbie Brady. I've never heard of him in my, in my entire life. Has got... He's, he's the highest ever goal scorer in the under-21 level for the Republic of Ireland. Wow. Fact. Yeah. More than uh, Robbie Keane. Robbie Brady. Eleven appearances he's made. He scored four goals, three in the league, one in the cup, and he got one assist. So he's had, you know, as for a team that scored nine goals in the league, he scored three of them. So there you go. He's a, he's a, he's a third of their goals. Um, right there. Uh, you know, I know Alan McGregor's had a good season. Yeah. Yeah. That's about. That's about it. Tom Huddleston's a good player. Is he though? I think so. Is he really? I think Tom Huddleston. He's got big hair. He's got an astonishing hair. Mm-hmm. And I think that that doesn't get credited enough in football. Um, where are the fancy football points for Boss here? It's not amazing. I know. Well, we've lost ours by seven to Suzo to Almeria. But, um, and uh, Danny Graham's an interesting one because he came on at half time for them at the weekend. And he's been he, injured for a while. Yeah, well, he, I, I thought he was injured against Everton, actually. Yeah, good. <laughs> excellent knowledge, right? I thought he was smashing <laughs> at Swansea, but he's not, he's not had a good time for the time. Can't buy a goal. Ah, oh, oh, stay. 
with a banjo. Stay. Oh, he'll he, he, he score. He'll score more than one. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Excellent. There we go. Right, that's, <laughs> that was right, Chris' that comment. <laughs> but we drew 0-0 with them in 2010. That was away. That was where I was about to, to throw. Is that the last time, was it? That was yeah. the last time we played That's the last time, last time we played them. Um, okay, they're on the back of a defeat to, to Palace um, as well. But I can say that. They, they, they've surprised a few people with some of the results. They, you know, they, 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 they're a good... They're clear of the relegation zone for now. They've been at these side. Steve Bruce quite said post match after Palace. They've influence to be in the relegation zone this year. They don't have the teams down there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but he's come out and said post post Palace that he, you know in training he likes to get his teams passing and playing football and that they've got a good record at home. Could this be a potential banana skin for you? No, I don't think so. No, because they if they've scored more goals at home, I'd say yeah. But they're, they're averaging less than one a game at home, and we're definitely going to score more than one goal there. So. Bold, what about you, Steve? I'm the same. I just don't see how. If Sturridge is fit, even if he's not fit, I don't know how anyone's stopping Suarez at the minute. Even that good my, teams. That was my point. <laughs> our good teams, our good teams stopping Suarez. Drop, kick him in the knee and everything. He doesn't, doesn't work. Even, he doesn't work, does it? You can kick him He gets up and comes again. He's like the Undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, he's I, like a Terminator. He's like a Terminator. <laughs> so my, my thing then is if I was there, I'll just stop him. And it doesn't matter. I'm sure, the weekend, you know what I mean? Eight nine players were pretty trite, yeah. and we still didn't. He'll keep coming. He'll keep coming. He'll, he'll keep coming, and he will not stop until you are dead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, would you change anything, Mike? Starting starting team from from Everton back four obviously didn't have a had a let's say a torrid time against the Blues. I'd change one of the centre halves. Who is it, and who would you change for? I think Scale needs a to come out for a bit now because mm-hmm. he can keep chopping and changing them. I don't think he's done. He had a bad game in the derby. I don't think he's done. He's done well up until that point. But I think it's just time to freshen it up a bit. You know, you're Sacco on the bench, chomping at the base. You got Torre, who I think was doing great until he got injured. Mm. So either of them two deserve, I think, to have a, a crack at the a crack at the back. It's I'd, 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 I'd been both of them. Would you? Well, it's interesting. I actually, in hindsight, with the with the derby, I'd, I would have started Sacco and Torre. I think they'd have been far more suited to cope to mm. cope with the Kaku, but. I think in these games, actually, this game probably favours Agger and Scale. But then again, you know, do they deserve to come out for not having a great game in the derby? Maybe not. And, and the other change of obviously thinking, like we saw before, probably Sturridge is going to come back in for Alan. I am and go back to two up front. But that, I, I change both of them. I'd say, you know, if he's doing this meritocracy thing where you play well, you keep your shirt, and you play average, and the next guy who's who's, been, who's done nothing wrong, then by Saka was told to have done nothing wrong, so they deserve the chance again. But I don't think that matter. I'm maybe being a bit overconfident. But I don't think it particularly matters who we play at centre back in this game. Yeah, this, this this is starting to sound like one of those shows where we get nailed in the comments. Oh. That we go, we get, but we somehow get beat. Tweet right. me, and I don't care. I'll, I'll, I'll ignore you. <laughs> <laughs> Close block. Get on with your life. But yeah, don't worry about it. I, wor- I worry about changing centre backs. I am one of these people who thinks that a settled defence is a good idea. Can you were, you were raised on some of the greatest centre back mm-hmm. pairs that Philip ever had. I mean, but relationship between defenders. And goalkeepers is important. Could I ask you, John, so, who, 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 who would your back two be then? You say you don't like it. Who would you? We've got those four. Who would you pay as, as, a, as a pair? Me, I would, I would have Toure and Aga because I think they're the best two centre backs we've got. But we've not played them. And when someone like Scale goes in and, and um, he's now played with Aga, then changing it just for the sake of changing it doesn't seem the right way forward for me but I think he has to make his mind up which two is he going to play mm. you know? I, I think I think it should be dependent upon opponents and I, again just looking at the fact that it was Lukaku I think one of Torre or Sacco should have played in, in the derby but I, do you need them against I, I, I think in those, that circumstance you might then think well we need someone else in you know to take him out of the game mm. yeah. but it's so no we on the whole with the exception of maybe Sturridge come, coming back just in. Just Sturridge for Allen. And then if he does whatever he does, a centre back then to fair enough. But again, we were talking in the, on the final word show about Joe Allen. How, it's, I think it's, it could be, it could be the end of Joe Allen if, if he doesn't get a look in in this game. Who, do you try, who doesn't start out? The only one you could possibly say, and I can't believe I'm about to say this, but we'll give Henderson a rest mm. and let Allen play. And, you know, to keep, if you're going to keep Joe Allen in the team so his head doesn't go down, because he ain't going to say Gerard out, is he? So... Um, although you could probably afford to against Hull um, no disrespect to Hull but I think you could if Gerrard's struggling with his hip then you can take him off the team it depends on they play again I think it, it depends on they play if they're going to if they're going to try and play a bit of football against us then I, I think you don't necessarily need Gerrard actually strangely enough but if we were because what Gerrard's proven in the last few weeks is how important his mm. sort of you know, his special teams yeah 
Yeah, 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 his performance has been in his ability to deliver set pieces. If they're going to park the bus, you actually need to be able to score goals from set plays, yes. which I think you need Gerard in there for. But I agree, in, in a game like this, if they're going to play a bit of football, they're the home side. I think you've got to take in consideration as well, we've got three games in a week. Yeah. So it's the first time, probably, in, well, for a good few months since we got knocked out the, the League yeah, Cup. That's good. That you've had three games in a week. The idea would be to play him, get like full, for example, play him, beat them, and then get him off for half an hour. But you know, my only worry when you go away and drop Gerard is that uh, not the opposition team, it, it, it almost gives them their team talk, the yeah, manager. These think we're shitty, I don't even pick them the captain. Mm. It does, don't it? And you put their team on the wall and they haven't got Gerard and their players with like Sands. They don't think, obviously, don't take us seriously, that's shown. Yeah, but that's, I agree to a point, but then whoever's whoever's playing instead of them, that's, that's you made it, your career's made and broken on those things. And if Joe Allen, if you turn around to Joe Allen and go, okay, I wonder whether he can, it's, it's the final test of his character, because if he can't, if you say to, to him, right, taking, we're taking Gerard out, you're keeping your place, we're going to play you in, in Henderson in midfield, but bear in mind that this is it, this is it, mate, if you can't perform against the whole, the whole city tigress. Uh, whatever, why not? Look at that. Um, then you know you can't you can't do it. I think that's make up. That'd be make or break for Joe, and that's. But that is a professional football. You've got to be able to handle those. Can't see that. I just don't think. Like, I don't think it's going to happen in any way, shape, or form. He's not. I think he's made it clear. Gerard's going to play until he's physically incapable of playing, and then probably play a little bit more. I think. I mean, my my point about taking Henderson out. I don't think he'll do that either because he's integral to the way he played. Mm. So I. Um, poor old Joe. Poor old Joe. I think he's like, he's the like odd man out, and he's yeah. Joe. The keyboard warriors are then, going to have to. Then again, I suppose if we, if we were two or three nil up, you know, with half an hour to go, you can put Joe Allen on and you. Know, but well, it's mm-hmm. the fun thing, isn't it? You know, we, we it was a good idea to be able to bring one. Get us you're you're a great player, like you said. Well, if you want to conserve energy, Joe Allen's fantastic at that. Against Fulham, we boxed her off. And we could have went on and scored eight, probably. We could have because they were awful. But we just thought, now to four or two or three or two, and bring Joe Allen on, he'll kill the game. And that's what he's good at. When you when you win the game, Joe Allen's amazing. Not just slowing the tempo down, give everyone a rest. Your fullbacks don't need to come bombing on anymore because they've got Joe Allen's the outlet. So the, the ideal, I think Rogers' ideal scenario in any game is get a couple in front and then get Gerrard off and he can bring Joe Allen. I think Fulham proved that's what he wants. Yeah, it, it's obviously done well every time, does it? Yeah, yeah, no, fully agree. Okay, let us know if you're watching this. Let us know how you think Liverpool should line up. What do you think the back four should be in particular? Do you think Joe Allen just deserves to be bombed out? And, and this might, there's probably a few people like going oh, guffawing behind their keyboard, thinking like, well, it's the most Aubrey. ridiculous question ever. <laughs> <laughs> um, but is it a ridiculous question? I think the point the point we've been trying to make about Joe Allen is that he's a fifteen million pound Liverpool player. We actually do want him to be a success, regardless of whether you you, you you want him to or not. You should want him to be a success. So, you know, maybe we give him this chance, give him one more chance, and then say ta da! I don't know. Anyway, let's really give him one more chance after what after a miss though. Doesn't no, no, I'm saying well, what I mean is one more chance now with this. You know, what I mean, he's built himself back up. He's got himself back in contention for the first team. It could quite easily be bombed straight back out again. He probably. Deserves not he deserves not to start against uh, in the next game with Daniel you know you'd have Daniel Sturridge in for him all day long yeah, yeah. so what I'm saying is do you give him a, do you give him this this chance right now in this situation or does he have to wait and hope that he can his chance will come back around again in the future let me know in the comment section and he's okay we're gonna have a little musical interview when we come back we're gonna have the trivia answer and some score predictions so stay tuned for that anyway this is Vinny and the Stars all the way from Hull. All right, my name's Vinny Whitehead from the band Vinnie and the Stars and this is a track called I'm not from America, I'm from Hull. It goes like this.
TV, all the way to Hollywood, deliver my lines without hesitation. All rap needs is perfect presentation. You don't know the old tone, don't harass me. Take your words back and then your geography. I'm a different type of class, like Dean Wind. I scored the winning goal at Wembley. I'm not from America, no, I'm from Every time you move the, move the camera, very much budget. Um, absolutely fantastic. Uh, yeah, thanks very much for coming all the way over to uh, to film with us. Fantastic work. Uh, okay, then we want to know the answer to the trivia question. Uh, the trivia question was the last time LSU won at the Casey Stadium was in April two thousand and nine. Mascherano was subbed in the 85th minute, but for whom? Should we have some guesses? We'll go around the room. When was it? Two thousand two thousand nine. Fowler. Nope. Was he even here in 2000? No. Oh, that's a shit answer. <laughs> <laughs> no. David and Go. David and Go. No. Ollie. Dagan. No. Tom. Oh, Just say a player's name. Abelard. Abelard. No. Chris. Riera. Riera. Eh eh. It was. Let's see what? Nabil El Zar Noel <laughs> Zar. The 80s yes. minute, minute sub, of course it was. Yeah, we brought off the Argentinian captain, the Nabil El Zar. Okay, uh, score predictions then, please, Steve. What do you think it's going to be? 4 0. 4 0. Wowzers. Okay. 2 3 1. Should be not be on the camera now. 3 1. 3 1. Mike? 3 0. 3 0. I actually, uh, yeah, I, like, I kind of like 3 0, but to go be different, I'll say 2 0. Go on, Chris, what did you think? That, you, that doesn't really work. <laughs> Ollie, Ollie, look at Chris with the camera. With your camera, not your eyes. Come on, come on, man. Two one. Two one. Yeah, yeah, man, back. I'd love two nil. I'd love two nil. Two nil. Yeah, Last on match of the day. No, just forget about us. <laughs> Focus on everyone else. Just let us get on with our business. I'd love two nil. No, I think I agree. I agree with that. Let me know your score predictions then in the comments section underneath, as well as I say how you think Liverpool should line up, etc., etc. And uh, let me know if you got the trivia answer right, and what are your thoughts and memories of Nabil Azar. What is your favourite thing about him? That we got rid of him. Scored a goal against Swansea in the League Cup. Cardiff. Cardiff, oh, was it? Yes. Oh, Cardiff, it wasn't. We do it Welsh. Yeah. <laughs> memorable. Another memorable. Another memorable. I in the name, so that's my favourite memory of him. <laughs> yeah. I'll do it with Nicky Rizzo. Sorrow. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going to wrap that up there. On this week's subscribers, we've of course had the final word. Looking back at the Merseyside derby, we've got the Reds news roundup show. We're going to look at uh, was Rogers right to criticise Daniel Sturridge? Uh, did we expect too much of Stephen Gerrard? Jan Mavia spotted at the derby. Which means he's clearly signing for us. Um, it was Enrique's out until February, and we're going to look back at the big news from last week, which I've had time to up until now the LFC Academy sackings, and we're, what next will it puzzle you to settle. And then the Friday football show, we're going to look at the wider football. And it's on the redmentv.com, as you should well know by now, it's free for the month. Loads of shit coming up in December, perfect time to start it, so go and start it now. Um, anyway, thanks very much for watching, and good night. Ta da. Mm-hmm.